Hello, this is Richard Cispedes, and uh, I'm here to talk about another idea that I've had, um, which kind of like I've had for like a very, very long time, like I said, it's 12 years old idea, and uh, it's about um, how androids could become um, like part of society, you know, like you see it a lot in, in uh, movies and uh, film and things like that. But um, the way that I see, if I were to create an Android, specifically Android, like I've spoken about in another video of mine, um, which is called uh, a little small, like childlike, like almost like a size of a child, um, four to five years old, maybe like six year old type of child, very small, kind of close to um, the waistline, the belt line of a five, eight, um, tall male um uh, you know uh, i spoke about this android that I had i'm uh, thinking about you know, i would probably name a minus cute names like that you know um but my android would specifically be um a real big um influence on pop culture um he would be considered to be more um like almost human the movements and everything and um and uh, he'll be lovable, you know, almost lovable and as charismatic as Michael Jackson, someone like that, light on his feet, someone that can dance, a robot that can dance, an android minus would be able to dance, do the moonwalk flawlessly, almost as equal to Michael Jackson, do the Mars walk, do other moves um, like the super moonwalk, things like that, and also be able to um, adapt minus over the years after being, uh, after kind of um, making him comfortable to society, you could have him be, um, after integrating Minus into society after a couple of years, maybe like a decade or something, you could put him into films, own, his own personal film. Um, I have ideas about putting my Android into his, its own personal film. Um, also, what people don't really realize, and I, I'd never really seen in the movies or cartoons that much, I think maybe there is some, but making um, an Android... But like in real life, you know, there's, you see, it's very different to have um, cartoons and movies um, like Johnny Five, you know, he's humorous and lovable. But it's very different to have an, a real android in reality, in real life. You know, like seeing someone in real life, uh, seeing an android in real life be humorous. Not just cute humorous, but some someone that's humorous in the level that you could connect to in a human type of manner like someone you could laugh at in terms of um your own older brother making you laugh or your young brother connecting to the android in that level or connecting to a comedian on television or movies to where like you would never um suspect you know um connecting to a comedian on, on the, the film about you know how they just are their personality their character you i will want my robot android to be loved in that manner because it's very different from films and movies how they interpret a funny violent or creative robot in their films it's very different than having it in real life metal existence in reality you know in our universe in reality and it's more dynamic i will want my robot to be um something that is intriguing and something that you ever notice how when you look at people in general your own brother your own sisters you're kind of in awe of them sometimes like you just wonder like how does this person do do this you know like this person is so um creative and so secretive and so um complex and so um deep there's always something underneath something going on underneath them they always surprise you and that's what I want my Android to be. Someone that, in the pop culture eye, that people are always talking and thinking about and always intrigued about. In a deeper, more dynamic level. You know, like I said, it's very different to see this in films and cartoons and stories and all that. How a robot can be loving and all that. But in reality, when you see it in reality, a robot being really being acting that way, it's, it, 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 it blows you away. I can, I can really imagine that. And, um... Putting the robot in the music videos, putting him in comedy movies, comedy shows, having minus 
um, have his own personality, his own character, coming up with his own ideas, um, being able to do pop and lock and break dancing and just be a very creative, deep, expanding, um, ever evolving, creatively, physically, emotionally driven robot. Someone that's always there by your side. Someone that's always um, uh, uh, and a robot that's always um, constantly changing and constantly um, you can always wake up to in the morning. It's always there like a real human being would be, you know. And that's how I want mine is to be. Someone very dynamic. Um, I wanted to kind of talk about it in much more of a thicker kind of like more broken up pieces to, to describe how my Android would be, but my Android would be basically like, it's like when you would see him in the film, you know, over a time of integrating and getting him conditioned to society, the robot to be conditioned to society, and slowly allowing those features of the character of the robot to slowly reveal in time to society, so that when the robot is included into comedy movies, um, being a sidekick comedian or the comic relief in the, in the movie um people will immediately click with the robot and be like wow that's like that's that that's my brother you know they're talking to, you know they think to themselves wow that robot is just like my brother wow that robot is just like like my friend you know like there's something in that robot by his mannerisms and his speech and how he connects to the average average person day to day there's just something about them that's just deep and real, you know? And that's what I want in my Android to be, something that's much more deeper and real. And uh, this is an idea that no one ever really really has ever thought of, really, um, to really make an Android as deep and real as a human. And to kind of do things you never would see coming, like around uh, uh, an Android being in comedy, an Android being in a horror film, an Android being in its own action movie being the hero um um the android being in deep drama movies um you know playing different types of characters um not just being constantly in the in the cliches the movies always make the robot and then the robot has to is always learning and it always has to adapt to the human to the human condition but in this but in reality, what I would do is the robot is already conditioned to the to to the human to the human um existence to the human connection to the human race itself. He's already conditioned to it. He, he he's he's been there. He's done that. He knows about violence. He knows about um, pornography. He knows about um, rape and 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 he knows about some math and he knows about different complexities that human beings go through in their daily lives. That within itself will allow the robot to adapt, to create its own ideas, original different ideas of how to interpret the way it sees comedy, or it sees an action movie, or it's, it, it sees music, or how it will come up with different dance steps and different pop and lock moves, like a real human being would. The human beings are constantly looking at the past and pushing forward to create new things, and the robot would be something in, similar to that. And again, you know, he'll be doing like the moonwalk and he'll be, you know, um, mimicking Michael Jackson, um, knowing all his dance steps, uh, doing music videos to jam, uh, um, you know, um, being in action movies, um, being in comedies, being, um, um, being on the red carpet and speaking to people in the general public, speaking to people in the streets, normal, doing, um, doing, um, um, candid camera comedy skits to people, um, hosting shows, um, just being really humanistic, um, and, uh, like I said, my robot would also be custom, would have its own custom paint job looking really good, just like the vehicles, a real nice, beautiful Ferrari kind of candy apple, sparkly red type of paint job on my minus robot, just really stylistic, something that a lot of people just don't think about robots nowadays. They don't think like that about robots. They just kind of think uh, pretty straight and narrow that a robot is just a robot that just, um, like in movies, they think of it like in Johnny Five, you know, like they think of uh, the robot as uh, like in short circuit, like, you know, he's humorous and stuff, but he has limitations. He doesn't have legs and he doesn't do the moonwalk or nothing like that. 
But in real life, I would make a robot in real life, an android that can do all these things. Expand, create, do the moonwalk, do the Mars walk, spin, jump, um, make people laugh, connect to you in a human level. Um, be able to uh, live on its own, to think of its own ideas, to survive in harsh conditions. Um, just something that's just beyond what people think of robots. And, and because it's created in reality this will blow all the other conceptions of how movies and books and cartoons interpret a funny robot or a violent robot because it's reality it's much more dynamic and it's real and it's much more um um complex just like a real human being that's born as a child as a baby grows up the, the when it reaches 25 or 30 the child grows up not yet but the person grows up they become more complex. People look at the person. Wow, look at the style. There's something there. There's something. There's something that there's a different shade to 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 him today. There's a different shade to him than he was yesterday. There's something different. He's evolving. His style is different. There's, there's a different emotion about him. That's what you want. And the android is something that's completely. He's always changing and always aware of his environment, aware of pop culture, aware of science. You know, and always there to care about people. Always, and also a loving, caring robot that cares about people. A humanitarian type of robot. An android, you know. And that's my idea for android. Um, also, interacting with a hovering orb that that projects um, uh, Scrooge McDuck. You know, you have your android. And you have Scrooge McDuck right there in reality. Existing in reality now. You know, that's what I would create. That's what I want to create is a is a holographic um, a, a projecting orb that projects a um, uh, Scrooge McDuck that you can talk to and you can uh, ask questions and confide to. You know, like, you know, you may think that, oh, well, that sounds kind of silly, but if we work hard enough, we can create artificial intelligence that can interpret Scrooge McDuck to interact with you because in reality, once it comes to reality, Again, it'll blow all conceptions, all the silly conceptions that people have about how Scrooge McDuck would react to people in real life. That holographic Scrooge McDuck can live with you day by day. It'll be more dynamic and more complex and more uh, uh, have more depth to it once it's in reality, once it's happening day by day. You're waking up, Scrooge McDuck is there. You're walking, you're going to work, you know, you're coming back, and it's like, that can happen, you know. You want your Android buddy that's complex, and it's just as complex as Scrooge McDuck. You know, why not? That can work, and it could be Bart Simpson, it could be um, Super Mario, or any type of cartoon character projected by a floating robot, robotic, metallic orb, with artificial intelligence in that orb built into the software, a real complex artificial intelligence that projects whatever you want, whatever cartoon character you want, and your buddy, Android Minus, the moonwalking, moon, the moonwalking, Mars walking, Michael Jackson dancing, um, pop and locking, a comedian, action hero, drama, um, cussing, um, buddy, you know, everybody's friend, the friend of the world, you know, a loving person, dynamic, and then you would think to yourself, what happened if the robot died? It will be just as sad as Michael Jackson dying. That's what I want my Android to be. Thank you very much. This is Richard Cespedes. It's my idea for Android and te this technology all. Thank you very much.